Whoops. Hey everybody, welcome back. Looks into swirl here. New day, new cut project. We are going to work with purples today and alcohol inks. I have a metallic violet from Marabou, passion purple from Pinata, Caribbean storm or Caribbean storm. Potato, patata, tomato, tomato, all oh, let's call the whole thing off. From Woody's Goodies and lavender from Brie Reese and also violet from Copic. You know the routine. I'm going to turn the turner on. This is my 6 RPM turner. Flood it with alcohol and drop on the inks and we'll see what happens. This is your basic 91% alcohol from Walmart. Drop them on. And we're back. Okay, here's how this cup looks. It's beautiful. I am now going to emboss the lines on, the metallic lines that I didn't do with brass alcohol ink during the whole waterfall thing. And the reason I didn't use brass then is because I've had some comments about why can't I use other metallics. The other metallics that I've tried, so different brands in silver and gold and copper and bronze, everything but the pinata brass doesn't work the same way the pinata brass does when it's used in this method. So that's why I don't do it. I would love to use silver. I would love to use uh, bright light gold sometimes, but they just do not behave the same way the brass does. But you can still use other methods to get your metallic accents on. You can use a paint pen, for example. I wanted to try something a little different than that. I'm doing this right on the alcohol inks that have dried and there are a couple different methods. You could either paint on an embossing fluid. You could get a bottle like this of emboss it ink. This is the ink that goes on embossing stamp pads because embossing is used a lot in card making and it has a very tiny pointed spout. So you could conceivably do a thin line that way. It's not as thin however as an embossing pen. This is basically the same ink, but it's in a pen that has a nice, relatively small tip or nib. It puts down just a little bit of embossing ink. And embossing ink is special because it doesn't dry right away. I'm basically going to follow along my line made by the alcohol inks. I am working, these are four different metallic embossing powders that I got off Amazon. I will link to everything below. We have copper, pearl gold, metallic gold sparkle and silver sparkle. So this is how I got my silver line on there already and I'm gonna do it again. So where I just put down that line of ink, I'm gonna tap on a little powder and it will stick to the ink. Brush off the extra and then hit it with an embossing heat gun. That causes the embossing powder to melt and it gives us a beautiful silver accent line. So I am going to proceed to do this. I will speed some of it up. I probably do most of it off camera and uh, I may do, I may do all four of these powders just to see what that looks like. Maybe silver here, then gold, the other gold and the copper down here where it's a little darker, something like that. So I'm gonna keep going and uh, yeah, just sit back and enjoy the show.
there we go. Silver, light gold, gold, and copper accents. Obviously, you could keep going with this. You could do a lot more. You could do a little more. You could do less, you know, whatever you want. It's just another method to get some beautiful and different than brass metallics to accent your cup. I'm going to spray this with Rust-Oleum 2X, probably matte clear. Then I will put a layer of resin over this and bring you back for the decal. So stay tuned. <laughs> So I wanted to put a graphic on this. I wasn't sure, as, as always, <laughs> what I was going to do. I usually make the cup first and then hope for inspiration somewhere along the way. And I have this artwork that I'd like to use sent to me in a Franz Glitter and More subscription package a while ago. So instead of printing it out myself on a water slide, which would have the lines showing through and whatnot, I am going to use her opaque sticker version. You can get these on the Franz Glitter and More website. I will link to everything below. You just peel it off. It's a sticker. So I'm going to put it right about here. There we go. Sorry, my filter is broken. <laughs> I love how these lines turned out. I really, really love that. Hopefully you can see. I'll try and get you a nice close up. Under resin, they look even prettier. So now I'm going to put another layer of resin over this. I will probably use the KS Liquid Stone Ultra UV as my top layer. And I don't think I'm gonna put any rainbow alcohol ink in it. I want the sparkly to be only the embossed metallic lines we put on. I'll leave those sparkly and everything else can stay the way it is. So the next time you see this, we should be out in the sunshine. Mm -hmm. 